Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle and today we have a low impact cardio hit workout. There are 10 movements. We're gonna do 45 seconds of work with 15 second transition. And then we're gonna shorten it down to 30 seconds of effort with a 10 second break for two rounds. The reason why we're gonna do three rounds is that I want you to feel those muscles activate. We're gonna be working a lot on the core muscles, your stabilizers, which are gonna help you with your posture. This workout has no jumping, no big lunges, knee friendly, easy on the joints. We're gonna be working on mobility, so it's really the range of motion that's gonna keep that heart rate up, keep that intensity going. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Make sure you click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. If you want more content, you wanna help me create content, make sure you do click that join button below. Yes, click it. Roll the shoulders back, keep the core braced. We're gonna be starting off with a little step touch. Open and close those arms. We want big movements today. When we're thinking about low impact, we wanna get the range of motion. That's gonna keep that heart rate elevated. So there'll be no jumping, no craziness. But crazy comes from that range of motion. Have a bend in the knees and push off of that outside foot. Hamstring curls are coming up. Reach and pull. Really kick that heel to your butt. Reach forward and then pull hands to hips. And you can pinch your elbows back. That's gonna activate your back muscles. Squat with a knee, we're gonna twist to the knee. Squat down, twist to the right, and then to your left. Press through the heels as you rise up to activate the glutes. Inhale, drop, exhale as you rise up. We're gonna do a press back where we reach right leg, left arm, and then switch. Flexing the foot, squeezing the glute, and then lengthen through the fingers. Keep the base wide and draw the abs up and in. We're going to be doing a kick with a march one, two, three, kick, march one, two, three, kick. You could always do a knee up if you got really tight hamstrings. Squat, we're gonna slow it down here. So squat, bring the hands to the ground, straighten the legs, bend the knees, reach it up. And when you drop, let your head drop. This feels great for that low back. All right, roll it up. We're getting ready for our first move. So we'll be doing 45 seconds of effort with a 15 second transition for the first round. And then we're gonna go into two more rounds where we're gonna go 30 seconds of effort with a 10 second transition. You ready? You guys back here ready? Okay, so, so squat alternating knee. As you squat, reach the arms up, and then knee comes up, press the arms down. So you inhale, arms go up, exhale, drive the knee up. You're gonna go at your pace, right? If you wanna go faster, you definitely can. I'm gonna stay with all low impact today. When you squat, press through the heels. Really pull the knee up toward the chest. You want it harder, a little longer leg. We're 
We're gonna get ready for a lateral step touch. Two laterals to one side with a tap back. One more of these. Come to the side. Now remember, when we do the tap back, it's gonna be outside foot first. So we'll do the two laterals, roll the shoulders back, have the knees soft. You could do lateral raise. Two, outside foot, inside foot, lateral, outside foot. Bend the knees and reach the arms. It could be bigger arms. Make sure your foot is solidly on the ground. Outside foot. That's all you gotta remember. Another option, you could kick it back. So those would be some great options here. Getting ready for a plank. Let's finish this tap back. We're gonna plank crouch back, and then we're gonna take it to a tap out. I think Diane's gonna do a jack, right? Yeah. You can level up if you want. So come down on the ground. There is an option if you do not wanna be on the ground. We're gonna push the hips to the heels. Front foot taps out in, push back, back foot taps out in. Ooh, this is so great for the arms, the core, and your hips. So it's gonna hit that whole midsection. Another option when you crouch back, right? When you come out to the tap out, you could take a hand shoulder tap so it'd be opposite hand of the foot that taps out. When we're done here, we're gonna flip it for a sit up with the knee drive. All you gotta do is spin the legs around. We're doing that sit up. If you want more challenging sit up hands behind the head, if you need a little help getting up, use the longer arms and then tuck that tailbone we're gonna sit up, right knee comes in, and then left. So my legs are extended out with a bend in the knees. And again, hands by the head could make it harder. You inhale when you come down, you're gonna exhale as you drive that knee up. So I'm gonna start talking to you about the next move. It is a curtsy. There is a less intense for the knee if you wanna just do a tap back, but curtsy to a side kick, swing back into warrior three. So we're up, my right foot is gonna stay. So if you wanna take that less, if you don't wanna curtsy, if your knee is sensitive, tap it back. Shoulders rolled, core is tight, curtsy kick. Warrior three, swing and reach. Drop in the curtsy, pause, and then swing it around. So you have to really work on some balance. And we're really gonna work a lot of these fine tuning muscles that help you with your posture. And we have the extra challenge with the wind. It's gonna push us down. We'll be doing the same movement on the other leg. Nice job. How'd that feel? That felt great. It's like delicious in there, right? That's the word I like. Curtsy, take your options. Take a deep breath. This one's getting my heart right up. How about you? Kick, warrior three, reach. And each leg is gonna have a different challenge, right, for balance. And then it depends on the surface that you're on and your shoes. Because this is low impact, I'm wearing flat shoes. It's gonna help me with my balance. My arms, when I reach a warrior three, they go by my ears. We're 
we're getting ready for a skater. Woo, let's start on this side of our mat. We'll step over and push. You can leap. Again, I'm gonna stay low impact with no jumping here. Bless you. All right, keep it tight. Have a little bend in the knees. Skate over and use the arm. And I'm pushing that leg that's going behind me to the back corner. Ways to make it more intense, right? Pick up your pace, get a little lower, right? You can keep more bend in the knees and you can jump if you want to. All right, get the chin up, look out in front. We're gonna be on all four next. I've got Liz in the back. She's gonna do the modification without being on the knees. Little bird dog. We're gonna reach right arm, left leg. So find a great bra brace in your core and then do right arm, left leg. Reach, we're gonna pull it in and reach out as fast as you can. So it's in, out. We'll switch it halfway. And when you reach it out, really extend through the fingers and the heel or the toes. Switch, reach, pull. Just got a little windy here. Three, two, one. You are on your stomach. We're gonna do a plank with two mountain climbers. <clears throat> so real super, come up with the right knee, left knee. So if you wanna start in plank, lower down, super, press up, right knee, left knee. In a super, make sure you're lifting legs and arms. So we use that lower back and your glutes. This also gets that area, that armpit area. And you reach and you pull the arms back. We have one more move, narrow squat. All right, narrow squat with a jack. I'm gonna be tapping or doing the side lift option, so you can vary it. Because we do come back and we do this two more times, you can switch it out. So narrow squat, squat, tap, or full jack, or lift, right? I can do two of each. And if you really want high intensity, you could do a star jack, right? So there's always ways to level up and ways to level down. Or not really level, but just go to where your body feels like it needs to today. All right, we have a break coming up soon after this movement. And then we're gonna go back to this, but with 30 seconds. All right, nice job. Get some water. And then we're gonna do a 30-10. We're gonna warm up our hands here. We're not used to the cold weather. Get yourself ready for that squat knee up. Two rounds, no break. We're just gonna go for it. Are you guys ready? Look out for the leaves. Squat alternating knees. Remember in the squat, reach the arms up. Knee up. Now, 30 seconds, we went from 45 to 30. And the same thing with the break, we had 15. Now we got 10. Because now you know the moves. Pull that knee up, come on. Higher, more in the arms. Get 
Get yourself ready for that lateral. Have the knees bent, shoulders rolled back. Bigger arms is gonna be harder here. So sit in that little bit of a squat. Two over, outside foot tap. Inside. We have not had a windy day in like forever. I was just thinking that, right? All summer has been hot. One more step over. Give me the tap backs. Plank and crouch. All right, so we're crouching back, tapping jack. You can do a, a shoulder tap. Plank and tap out. Again, we're sending the hips to the heels in that crouch. You can always drop the knees to the ground. Again, we want the range of motion. Don't cut it short. Get back as far as you can. We're flipping for that sit up. Legs go front. Knee drives in as we do the sit up. Hands can be behind the head. Pull it in. And you come up as high as you feel that you can. Rolling the spine off the mat. And the same thing, rolling it back down. We are up, we got that curtsy. I'm surprised nobody blew over yet. We can blow over on this one here. Curtsy back kick. Swing it to warrior three. Woo. And if you want to, right, you can even just hold that warrior three and you can work on that strength and balance. Especially when the wind comes. See if you blow over. Nice job. All right. Keep it moving. So curtsy, kick, swing it around. Eyes are up. And again, we're going to work on that mobility. And then your foot too that's on the ground. Use the inside of it for your balance. When you reach out in that warrior three, you gotta draw the abs up and in. Skater. All right, let's start over here. Take your options. All right, level it up, level it down. Take it over, push. Big arms, right? You can even do double arm. Looking good. All four for that bird dog. A quick knee in. Let's start with the other arm and leg. We're just gonna do this side for the 30 seconds. So in, push. Cause then when we come to round two, we'll do the other arm and leg. And you're going in a nice rhythm. Out in front. You're up. Actually, nope, we're down. <laughs> we're in plank. We got the super with the two mountain climbers. You drop, lift, rise up. One, two.
and there are options so if you do not want to come to the ground today right there's plenty of options to stay upright but we need to make this backside stronger now we are up that narrow squat with the jack you can do that tap or the side lift come into narrow you're up you can bury it big arms Remember, consistency always wins. So try to make sure when you're doing your workouts, stay consistent, you'll get results. All right, 10 seconds, back to the top, squat knee. Last round, here we go. All right, let's go. Whew. Maybe some sweatshirts will come off. Reach, knee. By using the arms, you're gonna engage the core more in that squat. Two laterals. Remember, the outside leg taps back first. We'll start to the side. Get into a little squat. Arms two, outside foot. For sure, if it was a little bit warmer, we would be dripping sweat. All right, finish the tap backs. Plank, crouch with a tap. I'll face this way. How are we doing though? We're good, everybody's warmed up now. <laughs> crouch your back and tap. We could try a shoulder tap when you tap the foot out. Get that range, heels to your butt. If your knees are sensitive, you can do a down dog. Staying, we're gonna flip it. We have our sit up knee drive. Hands by the, by the head, or again, you can have them in front. So the longer the lever is, right, the legs too, if they're longer, there's more weight to pull up. Curtsy, side kick. Work on that balance. Shoulders back, keep that core really braced here. This is working a lot of great things in our mid midsection here. Swing it around. Drop that chest, right? To that hip height almost. Great job. This workout kind of reminds me of sometimes we do the, the hit, uh, the yoga hit, right? A lot of those great movements. So here we go, curtsy, side kick, warrior three. Ooh, and right, this is my leg that I'm not as good to balance. We've got those skaters. 
come on over. Nice big step over to that side. Leg goes back, reach across. All right, you can even get lower, and then watch your back. All right, you always wanna keep your eyes lifted so you're not hunching, you're lifted. And you push off that foot that's solid on the ground. Now we're gonna be going to all four. Do you remember which leg you did the first time? We're doing the other leg. Great. Do you remember which leg you did? All right, reach it out. I think I remember. In and extend. So when we have a little speed. Look out in front of your hand that's on the ground. Plank, crouch back. Ooh, no, plank, release. And then we have the two mountain climbers. All the way down, super and then two knees. Come on, squeeze those glutes. back up last movement that narrow squat to the jack 30 seconds to go come in that narrow stance drop and rise up core really tight we come into that narrow push your butt back Nice job, woohoo! You made it through. Give me high tens. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Jen. Jen, your hands are hot, cheeky. Carol, Catherine, what's going on? Thank you, Catherine. Thank Lies you, in the back. Thanks. We got <laughs> Diane. You're so funny because I do. I come around to the end and I'm like, who's that last person at the end? Next time I'll start with Diane. You guys, you did awesome. We're gonna do a quick stretch, but we're also gonna be staying, and I'm gonna link in the video for a deeper stretch. So. I know if you're short on time, right, we'll do a stretch now, but when you have more time, go to the next video for about a 15 minute deep stretch. Inhale the arms up, grab that wrist and side bend. Oh, so great job. I know you didn't see us getting sweaty. It was pretty chilly here today. Bring it up, roll the shoulders back. Same thing, other side, reach it up, grab the wrist. I'm hot everywhere except for my fingers and my, my lips. Release, lunge this leg back. Keep the leg straight, push the heel back and then sink in the hips. So we get front of the thigh without having to bend the knee. This time the hand goes down, we're gonna twist have a spinal rotation. Let the hips drop for a moment. Take a deep breath here. Hand on the thigh, step in. Other leg goes back, keeping it straight. So push the heel back. And then shoulders drop. And it, when you're pushing the heel back, think about the big toe too. So sometimes we push into the pinky. Big toe, push it back. Let the hip drop. Let the shoulders drop. And then hand goes down. You can shimmy it back. Give me a twist. Look at your hand for a moment. Like, look at the wrist. What's it doing? Is it kinked? Is it straight? Spread your fingers. Drop your hips. Take a deep breath. 
hand goes on the thigh, step it in, open up for wide straddle, hands behind the back, interlock the fingers, look up, and then keeping the interlock, drop the chest down. Release the hands. Take a deep breath at the bottom. Walk it in. Roll it up. And give me a nice big inhale here. Reach it out, reach it up. Pause at the top. Pull it down to your heart. Touch that skin. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, let it out. You did awesome. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, if you want more stretch, click up on the top. Make sure you do check out the description box below. Sign up for the newsletter, all that great stuff. Thumb it up, comment below, share with a friend. You guys have an awesome day. And we'll see you back on that mat. Thank you, ladies.